I'm here at BCF Southwest with Kate Fox, also known as the Macintosh Librarian. Hi. Hi. Yeah, thanks for having me. Are you from this area or did you travel to come here? I'm from Houston, so I'm in the Houston area. And and why Macintosh? We all know that it's not as good as a Commodore, but... (laughs) Not as good. (laughs) Well, I grew up um, with parents that were school teachers, and so we had a lot of Apple computers, Macintosh computers out in the schools, and we would take them, we were able to take them home during the summertime, and so... Uh, those are the computers that my parents used to do the, you know, the grades and stuff. But I would use them to play Number Munchers and Oregon Trail, and so those were the computers that I fell in love right. with as a kid. And and Apple absolutely went after the educational market and yes. did a good job. Yes, and, they and, did. Uh, I talked to lots of people. Said no, I, we had one at school. You know, yes. couldn't afford one at home, but we had one at school. Right, right, yeah. So what do you have with you today? What is this? So this is Mackie. He is I'm my Mackie. AI co-host of my YouTube channel, which is Macintosh Librarian. Okay. And does he talk? He Right now, his microphone is not connected. <laughs> <laughs> but on our YouTube channel, he is our co-host. So he's the inquisitive uh, AI computer. He is always asking... How do you play games on that? How do you set up games on the Macintosh? And so okay. that's now I'm curious. What's the AI behind it? What's the engine <laughs> behind it? It's magic. So what all did you bring with us besides Mackie here? So at my table, I had an Apple IIc okay. that's been modified with a color display. Okay. So it's running a color LCD that originally was running a monochrome display that has been modified. A couple members of the community, Javier um, of Adventures with Retro Writing has created, has found a way to add a color LCD to this okay. old app too. Okay. So we modified it to have a color display. And, and what do you like about the old stuff other than you can modify it to have a color <laughs> right, display, right. right? I love that it gets you back to an era where computers were simpler and you had the opportunity to learn how to repair the computers. You could repair The RAM yeah. is yeah. literally chips on a board, so if you have bad RAM, you replace it. It gets you back to an era where you're not distracted also. Right. Even you're, I use Macintoshes when I write scripts because it's awesome to have a platform where the only thing that you're working on is the thing that's on your screen. Right, and right. That's what I love about using old machines is, one, it's nostalgic, but also it takes you back to an era where things were a little bit simpler without the internet. <laughs> and what's your web channel? What's is, uh, the actual URL or how do we find you? Right. You can check me out on MacintoshLibrarian.com or YouTube. Uh, dot com slash Macintosh Librarian. Excellent. Well, I want to thank you for joining us here today, and uh, have a good show. Yeah, thank you so much. Sure thing.